All right. So, so good morning. What's up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, yeah, I'm doing good. And uh, I want to greet every, everyone. Good morning. And my name is Aldrich from Philippines. And it is really an honor to be here in, uh, in your show. Thank Breaking you. walls, flatter. mind walls with Paul. Yeah. Yes, thank you. I'm flattered. Yes. Yes, and I'm thinking, um, what, what are your, what are the things in your mind that uh, will help people uh, break those mind walls to be able, for them to be able to do the things that they love to do? Um, to begin with, I, I think first you need to um, know yourself, what you like and what you really want to do. And if, in despite of a fear or you never thought about it, you have to make the list of it so that um, you will start from there. So basically, if you like to make a toy, why you wanna make a toy? If you like to play with games, why do you wanna play games? If you wanna work out, why do you wanna choose workout? What, what is it giving you the sense of achievement by doing it? And you need to uh, make a list that first, and then from there, you begin. So that's the first right. thing I would do. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is really important to have a clear picture in mind. Oh, I learned a lot from that one. Mm -hmm. Because it's hard to do something if we don't know what what we want to do. It's like it's it's really hard to look for something if we don't know what we are looking for. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. But but what what can we uh, what can people do? Uh, like there are many people like are afraid to uh, do something because. Uh, their friends or relatives might uh, think uh, might say something bad about them if they try something new because they fail. Mm -hmm. So, what can you advise to them? I, I personally, this is how I would do. First, start. Like, let's say as a small as okay, I am going to make a biggest company ever, like e-commerce, like whatever you choose. It could be hat, clothing, anything. Then. You start from writing the first, I mean, no, you just start the first step, whatever that is. It could, it could be as simple as uh, making a social media or you write down your goals or you search on a Google or you find the products online. Like you can do anything, but just got to do the first step. And the first step leads to the next step. Next steps leads to the third step. And that's how we begin. Because uh, usually fear stops us from the doing what we're, whatever we wanted to do. So instead of getting the fear into our head, just take the first step. If you want to drink coffee, you have to make a coffee, right? Like you're not thinking about dreaming about, okay, I'm going to have a coffee, but like you just start like, exactly like here, like you just got to grab a cup, like <laughs> as a small as go to the kitchen, grab a cup, and uh, put the uh, like a coffee grinder, whatever, and then like start making one at a time. Because if you go to the kitchen, you're not just gonna you you're not gonna just stay there. You're gonna grab a cup, and then once you grab a cup, you know exactly what you're what you're doing and what you are there for. And then you're gonna grab a coffee, and then as you steam up the uh, water, and then you're gonna get the the I don't know like you I don't know how you make it, but using an espresso machine or the pot that you have, you're gonna do something. But just what I'm saying is, make your first move, and then move to the next one and then third one and fourth one. Just do it one thing at a time. That's what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. so we, we really need to uh, work. Uh-oh, you got turned off. You gotta unmute and you're gonna share the video, I guess. Okay. That. Um, but video is not sharing. Uh huh. Uh, how about now? On. Uh huh. Now it's on. All right. I'm. I'm sorry. We just. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the iPad. Well, uh -huh. actually, yeah, I totally agree with what you said earlier. Um, early. Um, uh, when I wake up this morning and I was preparing for for this for your show and I I. Uh, I, I'm holding my laptop and it, it fell down. And then there was a message. Um, we are checking 
errors for you, and then we're gonna restart. I mean, uh, the lesson I learned there is that uh, for computers or for some uh, technology, they are the ones looking for a solution for us. Uh huh. But 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 in real life, we we should really put up the war, like just what you said earlier. Uh, there is no one who will fix our lives for us, but us, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. so, so I think people should put more risk, should, should do more risk, right? I, I wouldn't even put the word risk on it because oh. risk sounds too drastic sometimes. So what I would do is uh, just simply go and do it. Like you don't think about the risk when you go to playground. When you're a kid, right. do you think about, oh, I'm going to have a risk to go to playground. You don't think about any of those. You're putting your obstacle for yourself. What you're doing is like, I'm just going to hang out with my boys. Like, you just go. Like, I just want to chill out there. I just want to play. That's why how we, how we used to do it. But now, as we're growing up, so many obstacles that we put it in our head that, oh, there's a risk. Okay, I need to overcome the risk. No, there's no obstacles, no risk. There's only one thing. Just do. Like, you know, one of the quotes that Yoda says, uh, there's no try. There's only do. And just like, you just got to do it. And like, think about how, as we are a kid, I mean, that's how I always put the things very simple. I don't think too much. I just need a couple of facts and then I just take action. Mm -hmm. Like oh, you and I, yeah. I like, just like you and I, this is the yeah. easiest one. Like, as I was doing the Twitter, like one day, like I just realized that, oh, Ken, like Ken, like at the time I thought you were Ken. So Ken is not here. Like what's going on? Like, like he's doing something or something happened. Nobody knows and nobody can get, be cared about it. Right. But like, right. I just like, I just want to see if he's okay. Like, I don't know. Like if I didn't send you a DM, there will be no video like this. And if I didn't Probably. care, like whatever happens into your mom or anything like that, I would not know what's going on in your life. And just like one kind of message that I sent to you and making you and I connected together and do this together. This is a something. And this is a value that like I could never ever thought about. And like, you are not influencer. I am not no influencer. And we're just a regular human being. And we just try to do the good thing. And like, because I understand the fact, like I just take an action. Like if I understand that, oh, Ken used to be, you know, like me, my post tweets a lot, but then now he's doing no more. What's going on? I just have a curiosity. And why don't I just send him a DM? I, I, that's, that's how I did it. Like I didn't, say, I didn't think of any of this stuff. Oh, what if he rejects me? Or what if he doesn't remember me? What if he's like, like, I don't know, like something else. And like, I just did not put any of my thoughts into it. I just like, I know he's like, he used to be like my uh, Twitters. And like, I just, it's just, I just got a DM in. Like he has been replied anything or like he's not in the show and anything anywhere. So I just got a curiosity and then just DM'd you. Thank you. And I really appreciate that. And, uh, for all the people who are watching now, uh, actually, this uh, this live stream, we didn't even plan this one. So nope. what we, we, we did not plan uh, at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. So Paul and I just decided to have a live stream. So <laughs> uh -huh. we, we simply just decided to do it and we did it. And here we are, you and I talking. Like you're in Philippines, yes. I'm in LA. So mm -hmm. yeah. Really awesome. That's why I'm wearing also. Uh, really crazy. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, man. Philippines. Yeah. I, I um, love it. I, I love for it. Me, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, I heard uh, before a wise one wise man said before that uh, we don't have to be great to start, but to start to be great. Mm -hmm. And people sometimes, uh, but you got to uh, plan your work, then work your plan. And it's true, but. Uh, Someone would like to be an NBA player, and all all he did is just uh, what a uh, video how to improve dribble, but never did the hard work of going to the basketball court and play. Mm -hmm. uh, it's actually the actual work that will help us. The planning is okay, yep. but we got to first uh, do the do the work because it's hard mm -hmm. to play. Uh, it's hard to get 
to be able to play in NBA play in NBA if we are playing NBA 2K. Yeah, uh, we are doing mm -hmm. different things. It's hard. Yes, we can shoot uh the the thumb, but only in NBA 2K. Yep. <laughs> so so we we really need to start what we want to do in life. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. what people gonna think of us because mm -hmm. uh, as we do this more, we will be better because repetition is the mother of skill. Like, like uh, many yep. wise men, people are saying. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Paul, is it um, uh, is should should uh, one person should be should he, should he be very talented to start something or or he just need to start something to get better? I always go by both. Here's the reason why. Because we all, <clears throat> we all do have a talent. It is first our job to figure that talent out. So having that talent is a gift. But skill and action has to be backed up. Back up that talent. So you don't have to have, like, you, you don't have to have a talent to begin something. But also you will have some kind of talent. We all do have a talent. We all do. Just we haven't figured it out yet. And from that talent, we got to begin. So either way, if you're a super talented person, like you know, you know how to play piano well or a cello, like whatever. Like if you're gifted with that, good for you. Or art, everything. You're good, like good for you. But you need to start that. You, you need to build that talent to make it skillful doing it every single day and just start with. So you need like, whichever you are, like which one you figure out first, if you haven't figured out, start. And if you have a talent, start. So at the end of the day, action is the answer. Yes, uh, I actually agree a hundred percent. Well, actually for me, before I was very shy, I mean, <laughs> very shy uh, type of guy, but, and I I didn't even uh, think uh, like ten years ago that I will be able to do a live because I'm a shy mm -hmm. person. I'm the type of person who is very shy. But I started my okay. YouTube channel last year, and then I okay. then when yeah. I started my YouTube channel, mm -hmm. I I was, I forced myself to learn like editing. Okay. Then I forced myself uh, to vlogging on in front of many people, and then oh. now. I don't know how to, before I don't even know how to use this uh, condenser microphone Mike. and mm -hmm. OP, mm -hmm. right? But I, I made the adjustment and, and mm -hmm. I just discovered myself that I enjoy doing this, but I will never, do, mm -hmm. will never learn it if I never tried uh, the first step. Yep. True. So we will discover more so about true. ourselves if we, yeah, if we try to do the things that in our mind that we think we love. It it mm -hmm. may it may fail at first, but we might discover other things that will work for us for the better. Mm -hmm. True. And just like you, how you did it, you led you started the vlogging and you started recording and you started learning editing and you start to posting on Instagram and you start to posting on Twitter. All this stuff, like step by step, you start to actually learn each step by taking the action. And once we like stop that's it but if we are keep going what we are doing eventually it will get to the point where we want to be yes and i also want to share my story uh because before i tried uh, applying for like apprentice for a as a uh, videographer to a famous director here, here in philippines i think he also do movie uh there in us and uh there are many applicants um uh, many of them mm -hmm. are cash graduate uh, mass communication and they have many experiences mm -hmm. in life, I mean, in, in, uh, in mass com or in media. But, but for mm -hmm. me, I work before as a waiter. It's totally okay. far from the industry and I okay. work okay. uh, for like sales, but, but I, I was surprised that he chose me wow. uh, to, to be an apprentice uh, as a videographer. But then COVID-19 wow. happened. Actually, it did not affect me because uh, it just proved to me that what Gary V is been uh, telling is that you should you should just do it like just what I said earlier because we will never know if we if we try. Another story of mine is that uh, 
I tried messaging a, a very inspirational speaker here in the Philippines. He is like mm -hmm. um, Gary V here in Philippines last mm -hmm. June uh, 29 before just before my birthday. Okay. I said, is there any that I can apply for? And then he said, uh, "I'm sorry, but right now we don't have. But I uh, I can see that you support our our cause. So if you want to meet us uh, like tomorrow, you can uh, join us. And then I I meet them. I meet him. When I arrived there, I shake in his hands, and then he told me that, okay, you can join the team and you can help sell the books. <laughs> so wow. So yeah. Uh, it's actually a big no. He said, or no, there is no available position in it. But but he still have a positive uh, mindset, and I want to hit, to meet him, not expecting anything in return. So after the event, he finished uh, the his speaking engagement. He said, oh, you can come with us. Uh, my my next uh, event, you can come with us. And then December, he told me, you can uh, can you do this? And I said, um, not, I'm not really good at it, but I'm going to study how to do it. So he let me do to, that work. And then starting from December, I do home-based work. And wow. up until now, I'm doing home-based. And it's really a blessing, thank God, because um, I just take a major, uh, I mean, it's just a leap of faith what I did before. Actually, that okay. time, I think as a part-time work only. It's like okay. part-time waiter. It's like two times work a week before. I quit my full-time okay. work before to have okay. more okay. time to do what I want. And what's his then name? He offered me that. Huh? What's his uh, name? He, uh, his his name is uh Chinky Tan. Oh, can you type in the chat room like yeah. hello on on, on sure, Zoom yeah. right now? Uh, I want I want to search you right now. Uh -huh. Uh, but, oh yeah, but I'll tape it later because uh, it's on the. I'm using smartphone. Gonna... Oh okay okay okay. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Um, I'll, I'll I'll ask you later. Um, for Philippine guy, Philippine guy, in Gary Gary V Gary V G V in Philippine guy. Got it. So I just made a note. Uh, wow. So you are still working with them or what? Actually, right now I'm working. Uh, the the home base work that I'm doing is for him. Oh, you are still doing for him? Okay, I got it. Good job. Yes, Good job. Yes, like uh, how you so turned I, it out? Mm -hmm. It was incredible. Yes. Uh, because we, I just followed what Gary V uh been telling us before. You message uh famous many 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 famous people, and it just happened that I've been following uh that guy, like for like almost five years and I've been attending his seminars and then he, he somehow know me and I just sent one message to a famous person uh, to that mm -hmm. inspirational speaker and then that happened and then I tried it again to a movie director and wow. then yeah he, he accepted me as, a, as an apprentice but COVID-19 happened uh, it's not uh, go through anymore but it's fine because I put that uh, uh, dare to fail is, uh, is working uh, now yep. I don't care yep. if I'm going to fail. I, ju I just need to try it to know, to find out if it's going to work or not. If it's not going to work, it's okay. Uh, the good thing is that I, and I will try more things. So, yeah. so Aldrich, <laughs> what do you want to do? Uh, 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 before, I really want to share the happiness I have inside. For me, I agree with Gary B. He's been telling people that Money is not everything, but happiness is. I don't put money on pedestal. That's mm -hmm. why I want to share to people that it is possible uh, to still earn money, even if there is no money coming in, as long as mm -hmm. be limited money coming out. So what do you I want to do? I really like what I, just, I want to share what I what make what made me happy, uh, to be inspiration to people. That's why I'm using many social media platforms now, and I'm connecting to mm -hmm. people, like-minded people, of course, mm -hmm. like you, because I, mm -hmm. I can Thank sense you. that you are a happy and you are an inspiration to many people. I can sense it in you. Thank you. And I know that I can learn more about from you, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. I just want to know, like, what's your um, next step and where you're heading is the correct direction of yeah. what you're doing. 
my next step would be I'm actually now right now I am earning money and then um uh, I really live a simple life. I spell a little and I what I uh, earn from my from my salary I invest it like for this microphone for the uh, ring light and yep. I will invest it uh, to help me reach to more people mm-hmm. and continue um improve my my <laughs> my skill I mean uh, to improve yep my mm-hmm. uh ability to connect to people better mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, so, well, because so let me ask you, yeah. let me let me, let me ask you this question. Um, so, with current situation, what's your happiness level? Like one, like happiness so miserable that everything level. is so negative. But ten, like you are like it went to the roof. What is this? Like scale one through ten. What is? Where are you? Uh, it would be actually a ten, but I will I will make it like nine because. Uh, there will there will be more people like say, oh really you're now ten hap- happiest person on earth. But I will make it. But there's a high possibility that it, it is a ten. I'm really happy right now. Although I had I don't have car. At the all, you might be surprised. You might. Uh, I'm already forty years old. You might think like I'm fifty years old, <laughs> and I'm single. I'm not pressured at all. My all my elementary college colleague, all my workmates before are most of them are married. So I mean, I don't get pressure because just, I turned 40 last July. I mean, in this July. And Wait, I just, how old are you? I found my boss 40, 40 years old. 40? Yes. I, I was 30, born 40. on July 1, 1980. Oh, 4-0, yeah. 4-0. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got yeah, it. So mm-hmm. I, I just found my purpose in life. And, and that's why... There will be no one who is who is going to stop me. If they say awful things, so you're already forty years old. How come you don't do this and you don't do that? How come you don't have car? I I own I have e bike. It's a motorcycle, but powered by. I I, I know I know I I hear you. And it's, also, it's it's, it's uh, a different. It's a different. I hear you. I get it. Yeah. I mean, I don't have millions in bank, and I don't have even hundred thousand pesos in bank. But right now, um, for me, I'm really happy because I I am in a in a good good stuff because what I have now is happiness. That people have like millions of money, but they are unhappy. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. for me, it's, uh, do you play um video games like car racing? Mm-hmm. Do you play? I hear you. I hear you. I mean, do you play games? Uh, I used to, but Cars. not anymore, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, when we are going to choose a car, there will be uh, option number one. It would be speed 100, right? Acceleration 100. And then uh, handling. Oh, oops, five. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, braking system just five, but most people mm-hmm. choose the first vehicle, the 100 acceleration, 100 speed, but only five br- uh, brake system or handling. Uh, yes, they mm-hmm. will uh, get their million faster, but in what expense? So for mm-hmm. me, it would I will I would rather choose like 30 speed, 30 acceleration, but the uh, handling or brake system is like 90 or 100, because Other, it will I'll- make uh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I think there's a gap, like lagging, but go ahead, go ahead. Finish your story. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so for me, it's because most people try to chase money and they forget the true happiness in life. Mm-hmm. And they forget that they are doing this to earn money to make the people uh, in their life uh, happy. They don't give time to people that they love, and they don't give time yep. to to the things they want to do in life. They they mm-hmm. think they want to be happy, but the truth mm-hmm. is they want money. They don't really want mm-hmm. to be happy. I think yep. happy people it is easier to get to earn money if we are happy. Mm-hmm. We will be mm-hmm. like unstoppable, and we don't need we don't need to be the richest man in on earth to be yep. to be happy and have yep. enough money. So yep. Totally. Totally. Yep. Mm-hmm. 
So like, I am so glad that I met you. And just like how you're doing right now, you have captured the happiness first and then you start to building your own thing. You know what I mean? So I love your process and how you do it. And I see that and just keep doing what you're doing because like, I think I'm just, just a few steps ahead of you. I just few steps. I always wanted to be wealthy and happy, but seems to be that everybody has that kind of capability. But then along the way, I figure out that why they're not happy, but there are still people out there who's happy and wealthy. And where this happen is coming from. For me, I learned this from my pastor. He told me that happiness is a choice. Today, you can be happy or very happy, or you can be very miserable, whatever. Like you make your own choice. So happiness is a choice. And okay, now I got the happiness. I got the love. Okay, how can I build my skills more? That's how I've been working with. And that's, I'm, I'm still pro processing this work ethic and uh, the, my mentality, everything all together and start to kicking in. It's just like starting to make so much sense. And then like, like when, when things like you like stop like chatting on the Twitter, like I just realized that, huh, I think I missed along the way, miss this guy. Like I could just like leave it off and then just walk away. Or like, I just, you know, sail the boat and you know, go to the place where I want to go and forget about you. Never, you know, have this kind of chat ever before, then we're done. But then I realized that, huh, like if I see somebody's in the drowning or somebody's happening something, why don't, I, why don't I just stop by and just, you know, reach him out? What's going on? How are you doing? Stuff like that. Doesn't cost them money, but it takes a, like, it takes a consideration and, and time. This is a time and this is a commodity. The time commodity is the only one thing that I don't want to jeopardize for anyone. I don't want to waste my time for anyone. Money can be wasted, but time I cannot because it this time will never ever gonna come back. So with that, right. this is how I see it. So like I just felt you. So like okay, if like I think it's gonna somehow it's gonna work or some somehow it's gonna value you or your audience. And if I have something to share with, which is like a happiness, you know how I take an action and how I break down the uh, mentality, all those mindset. I just have it and it's just, I just, you know, share it just like how Gary does it. But like Gary does it in his own way and I have my yeah. own way, but the main principle is the same. Main principles, everybody's yeah. the same. Yeah. Taking the action is the key, yeah. done. Yeah. And like one by one, step by step, that's how we get better. Right? And yeah, yeah, I, I actually, I want people to know that the thing that we are not doing, the things that we are doubting might actually actually be the things that might make us happy or solve our problem. Mm -hmm. But people don't do it. So it remains unsolved. They're, they remain unhappy. They, they, they are afraid of trying something new. And, and I agree with you that uh, we can have more money but we cannot have more time. And, mm -hmm. and for me, actually, spending our time to people that matters or important people uh, to us or important things to do, the things that we want, we love to do, we, we should do it because if uh, we are immortal, like our friends, relatives are all immortal, we can live like up to 1,000 years. We can actually focus on one thing. We can focus like for 200 years, we are going to focus to earn money, not things mm -hmm. else. Why? Why we can do that? Because after 200 years, we are still going to be alive. And all our friends True. and relatives are, are still alive, but it's mm -hmm. not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. People are, are being tricked that we are going to live forever. and All the people that we love are going to live forever. Mm -hmm. And that's why they just focus on earning money and then they forget, that, oh my God, I'm not immortal. And my relatives are not immortal and my friends and my... So that, 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 that actually was my realization. <laughs> so let me ask you this question. How do you feel about them? Yeah. You, now you know the fact. How do you feel about them? Yeah. Um, I, I don't, I mean, what I feel, feel right now is I'm thinking like how I'm going to share 
what made me happy and it there is a higher chance that it can help them become happy and uh help them they really love to do in life because mm-hmm. really uh, just like what like what Jim Rohn said don't be fake out people are fake out actually i can use this microphone and not plug it plug it it's not really working i can just look, uh, use it as a display but you can see me in front uh with this microphone you you are thinking that i'm using my condenser microphone well but it's not plug in so people might be fake out so people are fake out they think they are happy they want to be happy but they they just want to have more money and they are thinking like they're going to live like 1000 years so no problem chasing money because my my loved ones will be there after 1000 years no one is gonna no no one is going to die we are we are we all gonna remain here that is what they are unconsciously thinking they are not aware of that but once they are aware they will be like oh my god <laughs> what am i doing here <laughs> right so so that's my i just realized that like uh, a couple of weeks ago people okay. thinking they that's, are immortal so, i see just know so, the fact that just know the fact that what you know right now because humans are we're gonna die someday and yeah i always think that that day could be today yeah it could be literally like you and i have this chat right yeah. now the last chat and if i go outside as i because i at the end of the day i walk and as i'm walking you know like i listen to, uh like i actually capture throughout the whole day what i learned and and I can get a car accident and die. Mm. And this could be the last moment. This could be the last moment before I become something or like popular person, whatever, like it's before, before anything that can happen. Today could be the last day. So like, if I miss you today that I should have talked to you about this, like, or any interview, like, or this opportunity like this. And if I just, ah, I don't really feel like it. And if I just pass it tomorrow, or like if today were the last day of my life, I'm going to regret it. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Yeah, That's why you and I are actually having a chatting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, it, it, oh, so, it, it, so uh, mm-hmm. yeah. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, it, uh, it's just, uh, it will be a surprise to people that to tell to tell them that we can we cannot get out of this world alive, <laughs> right? But so, yeah, they they uh, choose their choose their destiny. Our choices are destiny. Okay, Aldrich, let me ask you this question: What's your life purpose? My life purpose is for people to see. God is working in me. I may not directly share God, but I want people to see uh, there is something different about me. Because, Hold up. Uh, what, yeah? you, do you believe in God? Yes. Yes. Are you Christian or Catholic? Christian. Christ, okay. Uh, then yeah. You read the Bible, right? Yes. Have you ever heard of the pastor named Pastor Rick Warren? Oh, yes. Someone who uh, wrote- or, or wrote a, life, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, um, he's my pastor. Oh. So, today, I'm going to send you a link. I'm going to uh-huh. send you a link. And we have an online campus every week. Try to watch uh-huh. that. Thank you. And the reason why I want to share with you that is because this is what I learned from my pastor. Goals can be set up by us. The goals, Mm -hmm. we can set it up, but purpose must be given. I I agree. And because when I ask someone, what's your purpose of the day or purpose for your life, that must be come from God. You may think that, oh, this is my mission. But actually, mm-hmm. that's your goal. It's not purpose. Mm-hmm. You are me- meant to do something in here. This life is not for us. It's yes. for God. 
God is using us to reach out people and give them um, what God wants want them to have through us. So my purpose of my life is sharing the love that I have received. And one of the action of sharing love is this. To me, loving neighbors, like love myself, is by showing up the action. Because of faith without the action is dead. That's Paul Apostle said it in the Bible. And so for me, um, I could have just, you know, just walk away. But then I, like, I came back to you because I know this one moment can change your life. I don't know. But God has given me the talents and enthusiasm to show people to how to reach them. So that's why I reached, uh, reached you out. And that's why I'm doing this for you. Thank you, Paul. I, I really appreciate that. Yeah, it is, it is no problem. really true that uh, we must know uh, God's purpose for, for us. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is the best, actually. Thank you. Um, uh, Aldrich, I think the video has yes. been stopped. Okay. I think your uh, video has been stopped. I, do you I, see me, though? Uh, yeah, I think it's... I'm gonna adjust something here. Okay. Uh Aldrich, let's do this. Yes. I'll send you, I'll send you the link and let's let's close the our um uh conversation here. And right, right. um I'll, I'll I'll send you another one. Uh I'll, I'll send you the copy the link and you can use it any way okay. you like. And uh I'll send All you right. the link right now. So so okay. um I'll 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 message you through the Facebook. All right? All right. All right, Paul. It's been a it, it's been a, my pleasure talking to you, man. Uh, it's also my pleasure. Thank you very much, Paul. No problem. Talk soon, man. I, yes, I hope we can do this again. All right, man. Bye. All right. Take care.